Ladies and gentlemen, I am so honored to welcome Mr. John Duffy to Planet Zoom. Mr. Duffy, how you doing, my man? Fantastic, brother, fantastic. Well, I am so happy. This is, I think, my, I've interviewed you and we've had several different conversations, but this format is going to be a little bit different, but I am equally as excited every time I've interviewed you because I know that there's just something amazing going to come out of it. But this time we're talking about a very special project because this very special project is actually how you and I met. And so all the nice things I have to say to you started during the filming of Rebelistic. So I am honored to have you here, but before we get into the conversation, can you tell me, Mr. W, what are you grateful for today and why? Well, you know, I'm so grateful in my life and today as well for all the, you know, I would say that I'm one of the richest people on the planet because of all the blessings of people and friends that I have in my life. And this weekend, just an example of it, I went to an event for veterans that I spoke at, at the Veterans Administration, and I made six more friends, a form of military people, sheriffs. And I just, every time I do something, I get blessed with this abundance of friends in the world. So. I mean, I can't be more grateful for, than that, than get up every day and go, boy, am I one lucky guy. I don't feel so special now. You just make friends with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> See, well, you you were one, and you're going to talk about it, but when we met on the film, it was a very special night, and we spent a lot of time, and that's what I met. mean. I get to meet amazing people like yourself, and I'm like, where do they come from? They just keep getting placed there for me. So I'm just, you're one of those very special people I'm honored and blessed to have in my life. Well, I, listen, I have, I wouldn't even be doing what I'm doing now if it wasn't for meeting people like you, because like, let's face it, and we're not even into the question yet, but let's face it, like the film industry can be scary. Media can be scary. It's not like, this is not, these are not safe waters to navigate. And yet my first film experience was the most epic experiences of all. And then here, seven years later, after filming Rebelistic, here we are having a conversation, not just about that movie, but all of these amazing things that are happening at Dirt Merchants Universe, but none of that happens. I don't come back and join the fold without meeting you and that impact and those conversations. Cause I'm saying to myself, I know other people in the film industry aren't like this. There must be something really special happening here with Dirt Merchants. And then, of course, to be friends with you all of these years later, it just, it means the world to me, man. So I'm really excited to get into this. I'm excited to talk about and get into a little bit about your past in the film industry. And then, of course, discussing Revelistic. So with that said, with all of your previous work in the film industry, how has film influenced your contribution to the Dirt Merchants universe, and more specifically, the film Rebelistic? Well, you know, I met Henry Morales at a event, a city gala event downtown LA, and he was talking about his book, The Dirt Merchants, which was a memoir based on his life. And it resonated because he comes from Jersey, I come from the South Bronx, and so we have a lot in common, and so kind of just kind of clicked. And, you know, he was talking about turning that book at the time into a movie, which I thought was pretty adventurous and courageous on his part. Sure. He had no damn experience in the industry. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, you know, and then we started talking and, you know, and I was like, a lot of people talk, but not a lot of people take action. And right. he was somebody who was about taking action. So I just said, okay, well, what can I do to help? And so I got involved with him and I kind of came in to production manage him to kind of share some of my practical experience because he was just, he was running on energy, passion, a story, but he didn't have the practical, well, how do I do this? How do I do that? So I was like, okay, I'll step into that. Then I stepped into AD and one day, cause I come to the set and he got no AD and he does. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to run this set. Let me, let's just go, let's make it happen. And then I ended up doing, he says, can you act in it? And the next thing I was acting in a little part of it. So it was just going with the flow and supporting him because he had such great energy and passion. And then there was one night that you're there and we're hanging out at a pool at somebody's house. And we're just behind the scenes, me and you, getting to have a conversation that's much deeper than most conversations I get to have on a film. And we just go very deep into each other's lives. And that was a pretty amazing experience as well. Yeah, it was. It's one that, again, is stuck with me 
since that day. I've never forgotten it. And of course, it's made, you know, reemerging back with their merchants and now as a universe. It, I don't, it wasn't even a film company when we <laughs> got started. And then now it's just evolved into a whole universe, which is just mind blowing to me.